Hello everyone, Vincent Thiel from HDTV Testier. I'm here at TCL's stand at CES 2019 and I'm here again with Marek Maciejewski who is the Director of Product Development at TCL Europe. Happy New Year Marek. Thank you Vincent, same to you and same to your viewers. Okay. So can you tell our viewers about the very, very interesting Top N8 series in the USA, Mini LED TV, that TCL has announced at the CES 2019. So, uh, the product uh, will be available in uh, 8K version and also in uh, 4K version. Uh, Mini LED we use uh, as a backlight solution, so uh, uh, behind uh, we have uh, array of let's say uh, thousands of zones uh, where we use uh, discrete blue LEDs. Uh, we also use uh, QDEF uh, enhancement film uh, to, uh, for this product to achieve 100% uh, color volume. So with peak luminance of around 1000 nits. And uh, this product uh, will be available in US as uh, 8 series, but also will be available in Europe. Uh, we will call it X10, uh, for 8K product will be X10S, will be uh, based on Android platform. And I think by end of this year should be also available in UK. Fantastic. And in terms of the HDMI 2.1 support, can you explain whether it is the full spec or is it just certain features that are enabled? Well, uh, by doing uh, 8K TV, uh, we want to deliver product uh, which uh, is real 8K product and is able to deliver 8K resolution but uh, and also 60p uh, for motion because doing it uh, with less than 60p doesn't make sense. So uh, the target is uh, to go with uh, uh, full specs uh, HDMI 2.1. You mentioned thousands of local dimming zones. Thousands to us can mean from 1,000 to like 9,000. So which one is it? Uh, is it closer to 1,000? Or can you be more specific about the number of local dimming zones? I think uh, we should talk about lower end uh, right now of uh, this uh, number. And uh, I think uh, over the next few years uh, this, uh, this number will grow. In terms of Dolby Vision support, that has always been a point of frustration for us in Europe. Is that going to change this year? Well, uh, yes, we will change uh, this year significantly. Uh, so uh, what uh, we do in US, uh, Dolby Vision is uh, uh, a way to uh, deliver premium products. Uh, so, so the same direction we have for Europe. Uh, this uh, 8K product uh, will come with Dolby Vision. So in terms of HDR, we cover Dolby Vision, HDR10, HLG and HDR10 Plus will also come in the future. For HDR10, we also do adaptive tone mapping to ensure that if something is brighter than screen can deliver, so we can uh, map it in adaptive way. So we analyze uh, send by send. Uh, then uh, Dolby Vision will also come in uh, 4K version. Uh, together with Dolby Atmos, uh, Virtual Atmos, in uh, the stop end product it will be 202 implementation. And then if we go a uh, step down, we uh, keep uh, Dolby Vision, we keep the Virtual Dolby Atmos, down to products uh, with uh, white color gamut. Uh, the product which uh, I think uh, 55 inch uh, in Europe will be sold at uh, uh, around uh, 599, 699 euro, we go down to this level with uh, Dolby Vision and Virtual Dolby Atmos. So you see that we significantly change uh, our approach to premium products. And when you talk about 599 or 699 euros, are we talking full array local dimming or edge lit LED LCD? We talk about uh, direct, slim direct, but global. Uh, so uh, it means because uh, at this price point, uh, we can deliver Dolby Vision, we can deliver uh, 400 nits brightness, but uh, we cannot deliver uh, uh, zones, we cannot split it uh, to zones. But uh, uh, this uh, Dolby Vision uh, for Europe and uh, for UK uh, is also based on our target to deliver Android TV to UK together with uh, uh, Freeview Play, which I hope will come by end of this year. What screen sizes are available in the 8K 8 series or X10S and also the 4K 8 series in the USA or X10 in the Europe? For 8K, 75 inch only. 
Uh, 4K version in uh, X10 will be 55 and 65. This product will come also with native 100 Hz uh, panel uh, for uh, best motion. Uh, and then uh, if I look on uh, other products, so generally UHD, uh, in UHD we will cover 43 up to 75 inch. When can consumers buy these products? Well, uh, this uh, 8K X10 uh, product we will launch at IFA. So right now we have uh, uh, first prototype available at uh, CS, but uh, final product will be in shops just after IFA. And uh, other products, uh, Dolby Vision products in Europe should come by end of Q2, beginning of Q3. Uh, but I think uh, if we look on UK, it should be more Q4. Can you explain what's the thought process, why you made the decision to embrace mini LED backlighting? Well, if we look on TVs, so uh, we want TVs on the one side to deliver excellent picture quality, uh, to deliver brightness, uh, contrast, but uh, also we want them to be nice and slim. So uh, to put all these uh, things together and then uh, to make a direct uh, product with uh, full RI local dimming, very slim, the only way is uh, to go with mini LED. Uh, because then we can use, uh, for example, four LEDs form in uh, uh, zones and then we can make it very slim. If you look on uh, products we have on the bus, uh, like X10 uh, UHD or X10 8K, these products are slimmer than uh, products uh, displayed by other brands. So this is the way we go and we believe that step by step we will be able to increase number of zones. And again, I want to clarify about the HDMI 2.1 features. You said that your TCL8 series or X10S can manage 8K at 60Hz uncompressed. But what about other features like variable refresh rate, like auto low latency mode, like enhanced ARC? Are they going to be available on your product? Well, uh, some of these features uh, we will implement in uh, our 4K uh, range uh, as uh, we see them like uh, enhanced ARC, uh, important uh, for end users using AVRs and so on. Uh, some other features will be also available in uh, uh, 8K product, but uh, today we are beginning of January and as these products we introduce by September, so it's quite long time to right now to confirm what uh, for sure will be available. I think when we meet at IFA or even before IFA, so you will get a full update of uh, all uh, specific uh, HDMI 2.1 extensions which are important for end users. Do you have micro LED products on show at CES here? Yeah, we have prototype uh, with based on micro LED uh, technology. This prototype we do together with uh, CSOT, our TCL uh, panel vendor. Uh, it is uh, based on uh, eight inch uh, segments. Uh, you can see uh, excellent picture performance. Uh, this is the concept of the product uh, by, from which we can build any size and uh, any ratio of the screen. Uh, then uh, this is also to show capability of TCL. And the resolution, is it still currently 4K at the moment because you can't really shrink it enough? Well, uh, right now it is uh, 4K, but again, it's a prototype. Uh, we show that uh, TCL is able to deliver this uh, technology. And uh, step by step, we will see uh, what will be the adoption and uh, which direction it will go. What screen size is it? Well, I think screen size is above 100 inch. Thank you very much, Marek, for your time. As always, I always appreciate your honest approach to explaining your product lineup and the technology behind it. And I hope that our subscribers appreciate it as well. I wish you a very good CES. Thank you for your visit and see you next time. Thank you. Helium.